A song of celebration, photos to remember the day, and the ribbons cut to welcome a new community-owned store. The people have waited for a very long time to have a store, to call it their own. Well, it's great, nice, first time I've seen a new store. Perhaps the most significant part of this store's opening are the prices. People in the community tell us they're about half of what they pay for the same products down the street at the current Northern store. Uh, last week we, we picked up four bags of groceries. It, 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 it was a little bit four, over $400. We pick up a card full today and it's, it's just a little over $200. So huge difference and we're still making money at these prices. This new $5.4 million grocery store on the remote Matthias Cologne Cree Nation in Pakatawagan is a game changer. It has fresh, healthy food, an in-store bakery and was made possible through a loan taken out by the on-reserve community of about $2,500. We're hoping to have a profit, uh, but mostly it's for the community members that they don't need to go and shop out of town because that's what we do. Chief Lorna Bigotty says the store gives her remote Indigenous community independence. Up until the grocer's opening, the Northern store had a monopoly on food. At the Northern, a frozen pizza is $16.49, a loaf of bread $6.59, and a tub of margarine over $14. To get cheaper groceries, residents pay to ship in food on a train from the PA eight hours south. This is a deal, $16.99. If you shop in the PA, it's like $25, $30. Pakatawagan is also celebrating the opening of a new band office and tiny homes for residents to live in. It's all part of the community taking charge of its future and Chief Bigotty says there's more to come. There is going to be a hotel, the restaurant, and um, some other ways of um, pulling in the money than to stay in here in our community instead of leaving. The store is expected to create 12 jobs. The hope is that it becomes a model for other remote Indigenous communities. Austin Grabish, CBC News, Pakatawagan.